Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Kiki Dovey. And I'm Lily Onkelbach. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, and it is an A day. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 61. For lunch today, the cafeteria will be serving chicken tenders with a dinner roll and mac and cheese. Tomorrow, there will be orange chicken with vegetable fried rice and hamburgers or cheeseburgers. Wildcats, if you haven't already, please accept your invitation in Canvas to join your class cohort. Great Bridge will use these classes to get out important information regarding school events, scholarships, picture days, and more. Attention juniors and seniors, Christopher Newport University will be available at lunch today from 1 to 2. Make sure to stop by and ask any questions or learn more about the school. UVA will also be available at lunch today from 1230 to 2. If you would like to stop to talk to your representative, feel free to stop by. You know, Lily, I was thinking, is telling a little white lie really that bad? Well, I don't think it is. Perfect, because tomorrow we will continue our school spirit week with White Lie T-shirt day. Let's learn more about it. A star makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to If your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. Now let's go to Seth for a sports recap. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Seth Ankeny, bringing scores from last week. Starting us off, the boys' varsity volleyball team is back on top, beating Lakeland 3-0, maintaining control through all three sets. Lots of team effort shown as seven players contributed an ace and 12 players notching kills during the Wildcat win. The boys also beat Western Branch in three sets. Charlie Cooper had three aces and had a mind-blowing 42 assists. Davion Hugh made 29 digs and Abram Carter led the attack with 12 kills. Austin Smith and Ryan Gorski each had their first attacking kill of their high school career. It was another win for our girls' varsity volleyball team, beating Lakeland 3-0. The Lady Wildcats had a combined 26 aces on the night. Katrina Miller topped it off with 9 kills, and Olivia Williams added 4 more. The girls also took on Western Branch and came out on top, beating them in 3 sets. Katrina Miller and Abby D'Amato had a combined 21 kills and 16 digs. Haley Hosfeld contributed 19 digs, and Caroline McNeely had 6 kills. Congratulations to the girls' JV volleyball team on its wins over Grassfield and Nansman River, improving their record to 12-2 on the season. Evie Dowsman and Lenny Groves contributed 12 kills and 7 digs. Josie Hoffman and Finn Filiak combined for 18 digs and 5 aces, and Bergen Larson finished with 11 assists and 7 digs. Good luck to the team as they take on Nansman River and Indian River this Wednesday. And don't forget to come out Thursday to the Dig Pink event in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Last Monday, girls varsity field hockey fell to Grassfield 3-1, but Cam Johnson had four saves and the goal was scored by Aubrey Steckline. Coach Duke's Old Faithful Award went to Addie Morable for supporting her teammates. Varsity also traveled to Deep Creek on Wednesday where they scored 10 goals to end the game by mercy rule. Goals came from Lily Johnson, Lexi Curtis, Abby Ferris, Aubrey Steckline, Jordan Walters, and Hannah Farrell. Assists coming from Steckline, Walters, Johnson, and Kenzie Cummins. This time, the All Fifth Award went to senior and captain Aubrey Steckline. It was a close loss Thursday to Pocasin and ended up losing 2-1, to one, but the goal scored by Abby Ferris. Cam Johnson had 10 saves in goal, and Addie Marabal tallied a defensive save. All Faithful went to Kenzie Cummins for rallying her team and stepping up the energy to try and send the game to overtime. For JV field hockey, they played a great game against Grassfield, but fell 0-1. Brooke Fierce had six saves in goal. Thursday, they played Pocosin and won 1-0 with a goal scored by Caitlin Gallagher. The past weekend, the cross-country team participated in the Southeastern District Cross-Country Invitational at Bellsmo Park. Junior Jack and Walduck placed 4th overall. For the girls, it was sophomores Maddie Scott who placed 12th and Abby Crook who placed 16th. Congratulations to both teams. Great job to all our Wildcats. Back to Kiki and Lily with the rest of the announcements. Thanks, Seth. 
The Art National Honor Society is looking for students who have a passion for art. NAHS does countless hours of community service to bring awareness to the importance of the arts and how art can impact our community and our self-expression. Come see Mrs. Wallen in room 303 if you're interested in joining our amazing team. Applications are due this Friday. Seniors, are you starting the application process and struggling? Ms. Pugh will be available in the library Thursday during all lunches to help seniors with college applications. This is a great opportunity to get all your questions answered and get a jump on the process. All right, Wildcats. Today's joke comes from Mr. Hopkins. Hey, Kiki, why don't French people eat snails? I don't know. Why? Because they don't like fast food. Very funny, Lily. That's all for today, Wildcats. I'm Lily Unklebach. I'm Kiki Dobie. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day.